Brandon, in Indianapolis, a two and a half point road favorite at Buffalo. Now, uh, there's a lot of week one lines that I'm liking. A lot of games I feel like I have a good read on. This one's a little bit tough. Obviously, Indianapolis is awesome, right? Obviously, Buffalo in general is awesome, except for their issues at quarterback. But now Tyrod Taylor is going to be starting. He looked kind of promising in the uh, preseason. How good of quarterback play will Buffalo have to get to actually put them over the hump and make them uh, give them value as a home underdog against Indianapolis? How vulnerable will Indianapolis's uh, defense be right now? Buffalo's a two and a half point home uh, underdog. Total tip took a dip from 40, uh, of an opener of 46 to 45. Now, Brandon Travely, I'm sure you can answer all these questions for us. What's your take on this game? Yeah, Peter, I like Buffalo with a two and a half in this game. Okay. Uh, Tyrod Taylor, he'll get help from the defense. Buffalo has, uh, in my opinion, one of the one of the top defenses in the NFL. They only gave up 18 points a game last year. Uh, they have a strong front seven. You know, and it, it, this is, it's a tough game for Indy going on the road. Buffalo's been one of the best home dogs over the last couple of years. They're six and one ATS the last two years as a home dog. And this is a series they've owned over the year. They are 14-4-1 ATS their last 19 against the Colts. And Indy just doesn't travel uh, travel well against the AFC East. They're 0-7 straight up their last seven against the AFC East. So the situation doesn't favor them. I like Tyrod Taylor as a quarterback. Uh, LaShawn McCoy, he's good to go. Sammy Watkins, so they have playmakers. Um, Buffalo, they'll be physical at the line of scrimmage. Uh, with the offensive line, they're going to run the ball. You know, and the Colts, the Colts defense, they're banged up. Uh, Robert Mathis is listed as doubtful. You also got defensive end Arthur Jones. He's out. They have a couple cornerbacks on the injury report. And, uh, you know, the Colts defense, to me, looked pretty terrible in the preseason. And, uh, you know, for their, their offense, the Colts, they've become one-dimensional with the passing game. They got Frank Gore uh, to run the ball, but he can't do it himself. I mean, he's an 11-year 11-year veteran. He's getting old, and uh, the depth chart's thin uh, for the Colts running backs. You got Boom Heron on the injury report, also Vic, Vic Ballard. So, you know, I think the situation favors the Bills a lot. I like them with a two and a half. Uh, for all betting purposes, I'd watch this line. I think we'll see it hit three. I think the public will push it at three. Mm-hmm. That will be even a better time to grab Buffalo in this game. Well, I love your analysis, uh, Brandon Chavez. I have two questions, two factors that I'd like you to address. First of all, uh, you know, um, uh, yes, Buffalo has an awesome defense, but Marcel Darius is uh, suspended for this game, and I think the drop-off uh, from him to uh, to the replacement is is significant. And also, yes, absolutely, I love, uh, you know, the teams traveling to Buffalo uh, tend to have a hard time, but, um, you know, I'm wondering if that's more something in the middle of the season or towards the end of the season when the, uh, you know, the NFL season has when the grind is underway and then you have to travel to that tough cold place to a uh, play but in week one when it won't be that cold uh and indianapolis is not banged up yet and they have a long time to prepare for this game i'm wondering if uh, if that factor is going to be uh, that relevant here i mean that's that's true you know it is more an advantage you know come december you know right. but i still I, st- I still think buffalo has the advantage indy's defense is banged up their, their running backs are banged up they're one-dimensional uh, there's also a nice 16 and 0 ATS super system play mm. that fits in this 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 week as well for Buffalo. I mean, it's it's you know, Indy will be a they're going to be a big play by the public. That's yeah, why I definitely. say you know, wait till Sunday. The line will probably hit three, then jump on Buffalo. Buffalo plus two and a half is Brandon Travely's free pick for us in this game. And Brandon Travely, your premium picks, of course, can be found at GameDayInsiders.com. Tell us a little bit about what that's all about. If uh, anyone is interested now wants to sign up yes sir peter looking for a big week big week in football we got college nfl uh you can go to game day insiders right there on the home page at the top it's highlighted in yellow click on that i'll give you a daily pass it's 25 dollars. also included is all weekend saturday sunday monday night football as well you get three days 25 dollars try me out i'm gonna make some make some money this week guaranteed peter brandon shively thanks so much